Hello everybody, uh, just doing a little quick video to um, do a bit of an answer to people that are questioning why Disney Plus is broken on Linux. Um, people are reporting it's a DRM issue, but um, if you don't want to watch through and see the technical issues and actually what's going on here, uh, feel free to just know that if you just change your user agent to something that reports an operating system like Windows or OS X with a version number, it will fix the issue. Um, it's not a DRM issue, it's a bug in the analytics script that does it. And if you stay around, we'll continue on to prove that and show what's going on. So here I've already got the uh, browser loaded in Brave. Uh, if you don't know what Brave is, it's a, a fork of Chromium that contains a lot of anti-spyware, anti-tracking um, and anti-analytics stuff. Uh, but surprisingly, it's not actually the anti-tracking stuff that Brave has that's breaking this. If we press F12 and bring up the developer console, you'll see that we've got several errors to do with Brave blocking stuff, but we've got this one here in specifically that says, cannot read properties of undefined reading device profile. This is actually the error that's causing the player to not to load properly, and it crashes out, thus we don't actually get a player. What we can do is we can click on this and have a look at the source code. And you'll see that the JavaScript running this is minified. So it's going to be just about impossible to dig through that. But if we click this little icon here, you can say pretty print. And it will reformat this to something more sane. That we can actually see what's going on. Now this has dumped us in the middle of a exception handler. Which is sort of hiding the error but logging it. So an actual developer can look at this and see what's wrong. But because um, this isn't where the actual error occurs, we need to step back through the stack a little bit, the call stack, and see where it actually was. So we started here. If we go back one level, we'll actually find what's through the error. And here it is trying to read device profile from the object N. And this variable or this um, property has not been set. It doesn't exist. So we need to find out why. It's fairly simple. If we just scroll up a little bit, You'll see this is all like browser detection. So if it's Chrome, if it's um, Safari, Firefox. But if we go up a bit further, we also have um, detecting the platform that you're running the operating system. So you see here, we've got a case for Mac, a case for Windows, and a case for Cross, which and I'm not sure what Cross is, what they're covering there, but um, someone can maybe put in the comments and inform me what Cross is. Um, what we need to do to make this work is to basically um, modify one of these. So what we can do is put a breakpoint just here after this array C has been set up and reload the page. And what's going to happen now is the code will stop. The script will stop processing right at this point and let us look at what's going on and alter things too. So if we look at our current user agent, uh, which is in navigator dot user agent. You'll see there, my user agent is Mozilla 5, Linux x86-64. Obviously, it doesn't match Mac, Windows, or Cross. And there is no version number in this because, well, it's Linux. It could be anything. It could be Ubuntu, Debian, um, Arch, who knows? And the versioning doesn't really make much sense to um, scripts like this or analytics when you're looking at a Linux version like this. Uh, but we can prove that this is the only fault. Remember, we're still executing the script. We've just paused it at this point, we can alter an entry of that and we're going to change the Windows one and we're going to change the reg regex to one of the ones I've got here already, which is to match Linux, X and the 8 in parentheses. We need to do that because this is a regex match. It wants a parameter which is going to then stick into the platform version field. So if we do that, change that regex and then we can resume the script, you'll see that the problem is solved takes a second, the Disney player takes forever to load for some reason. But there we go. The Star Wars Endor playing under Linux. So it's not a DRM issue, it's a mistake by the developer that wrote this script. Um, they didn't think to add Linux here or even to have a, a sort of a novice error here is that you should always have a fall through or fall back when string matching like this because you're not going to cover every case. People are going to be running plugins for privacy. Um, I think some, even some AV software will actually change your user agent string to hide what version of things you're running for your security um, or to stop browser thumbprinting. Um, so th this is a pretty 
um, poor way of detecting your platform and operating system because there's no fallback if it fails. But um, yeah, this was just to show that it's not actually a DRM issue and a bug in the script by Disney. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.